Okay, I videoed from a Y down here and I'll show you that in a second. But what you have is you have an open pipe that's coming into that situation. There is a discharge off of a laundry tray pump and tying into the old vent it looks like right there, that inch and a half. And so then we come down through here, this is the discharge off of the laundry tray pump which I'll show you. It comes down, it's still an inch and a half, comes down through here, goes down through that. This is where this laundry machine ties in. It still runs inch and a half. It's way too small. Comes through here, gets into inch and a half copper on a double Y right there. Uh, there's no vent. There might be a vent back up there, but we might need to add another second studer vent. From here, from back there past that, th where the second laundry machine ties in, on around three inch and come in. And so then three inch down, inch and a half wide for this lavy sink, vent coming up, then all the way this way. Almost 10 feet to right there. That's where the uh, pipe gets bigger underneath the ground. So run three inch to that. There's a Y coming right back off right here. It's like right up here. Uh, for the bathroom over here, there's one more Y right here. I don't know what it's for. I don't see any laundry. I mean, I don't see any floor drain or anything like that. So just make sure you reconnect it. So it's like 10 feet here. And then so the laundry tray pump is over here. All this stuff will be gone. This is the laundry tray pump. So check valve. So it's just double cycling. This is the vent. There's no, there's no fitting on top of it. There's no suitor vent. So we need to put a suitor vent there. We need to put a check valve on this thing as well. So 10 feet of jackhammering, three inch pipe, whole bunch of rework back in the back for both, for both the laundry tray and the washing machine. Run that in three inch, reconfigure the Y there and bring it all the way to here.